What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman as we eagerly anticipate the release of the first Black Widow trailer, which we know we should be getting at any point now. We actually have the resurfacing of some set footage taken from principal photography back when they were shooting about six months ago. And now given what we know about the movie from the set footage that's been seen since then, since all of the plot leaks and rumors, and of course the trailer shown at not only D23, but also San Diego Comic-Con, we have a pretty good idea of what's going on in the scene. We're going to play for you guys, break the whole thing down, as well as bring up a couple of other interesting plot points that have come up recently regarding the movie. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, to be totally fair, this movie doesn't actually have a release date set for another six months, if you can believe it, but I'm actually kind of shocked we haven't had any sort of teaser trailer before now, considering how long the trailer's been done since earlier this summer, and how many times they've shown it to the public between D23 and San Diego Comic-Con. If you remember, it was even leaked online for a short while, but of course, Marvel nipped that in the bud rather quickly. Now, the following is actually set footage from an unsecured set over in Europe. Now, this was either a bystander who was able to pull out their cell phone quickly or someone who's working in one of the lower ranks like hair or makeup and because of the set photos that we received around this video we actually know exactly what's going on in the scene we're gonna go ahead and play the clip for you with the audio and then break it down quickly Now, as we do a quick play-by-play, -play, you can clearly see you have a stunt double for Scarlett Johansson driving the bike in the front. You can tell that by her bright red hair. And in the back, you actually have a body double, but in the form of a dummy. And we know from boxes delivered on set, some pictures that were leaked around the same time as this video, that that dummy is specifically made to look like Florence Pugh, the actress who's playing Yelena Belova. What's more, there were actually body dummies delivered for both actresses, Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh, insinuating they're doing tons of stunts. Now, real quickly there, you see this ominous black character, and it's unclear now whether that's someone filming, like this mocap actor here that you've got having filming off the front of the bike, or if that could be a stand-in from none other than Taskmaster, who we do know will be rolling around these same streets later in this movie in a tank from other set photos that were leaked earlier in the year. If you haven't seen those, you can clearly see them here. Now, that's not going to be the final form for Taskmaster, I assure you of that. And in said trailer, it said that we're going to see Taskmaster. Now I'm going to issue a quick spoiler warning here because there's one pretty held consensus rumor going around the internet right now as it pertains to Black Widow's main plot point. This feels like the best time to bring it up as we haven't covered it yet. But again, quick spoiler warning, if you don't want to know anything about the possible twist in this movie, then you might want to back out now. But it is said that Taskmaster is going to be a friend of theirs the entire time, a confidant that they're working with throughout the movie. And as he's unmasked at the end, shocking, it was him the whole time. I just feel like that's a played out trope and also unmasking Taskmaster this early in the game would also feel like sort of a letdown. I like to think there's a real reason you choose to do a prequel like this and it's not just to give Scarlett Johansson her own movie. Trust me, she doesn't need the money or the attention. I think it's to specifically set up stuff for the future. I don't think Marvel is going to give us a lame duck movie that doesn't have any consequences or ramifications for Phase 4 or Phase 5 coming down the road and that includes the inclusion of Taskmaster as a villain 
villain that we're going to see somewhere else, maybe even as a part of one of these villain teams that's rumored coming up, something like the Thunderbolts and or the Dark Avengers. Either way, we won't have to wait too much longer to see this debut trailer, whether you believe it's coming in the end of Thanksgiving attached to one of the football games or the week after in the beginning of December, what's certain is it has to be released and right soon as it will for sure be attached to Disney's other major release this winter, Star Wars, and since it's going to be live with that in the first couple of weeks of December, you can be assured they're going to release it to the public sometime before that. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this, both the release of the movie and the trailer, if you're hyped for it, and if you think that Taskmaster's reveal in the first movie would be sort of a letdown. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 500,000 subscriber mark. We are headlong into that, should easily hit that by month's end, if not by the end of next week. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. It'll automatically enter you to win the rest of the prizes we're giving away at the channel throughout the holiday season and in the future, like some limited edition Infinity Saga box sets we'll be formally announcing next week. Again, all the same rules apply. All you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. And because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon. Thank <laughs> you.